welcome to my Daisy video where we go over uh, video settings. Um, I'm going to demonstrate what I believe to be the best uh, video settings uh, to be able to, not only to get good frame rate but also to be able to recognize players off in the distance. So let's go ahead and start. If you go to configure and let's start with video. Make sure your rendering resolution is at 100% of whatever your monitor is. I kept the brightness and gamma at the default values. However, you may want to adjust those as needed, uh, especially if you're playing on a night server. You may want to bump those up a bit. B-Sync, disabled. Uh, DAISY on most systems will run at a rate that is lower than your refresh rate of your monitor, so you want to go ahead and disable that. Textures. Uh, now this was interesting. I had these on um, very low texture detail and texture filtering and I was getting about 20 frames per second in game uh, max and then I turned these to very high and I saw a 30 frame per second increase so I'm at like between 50 and 60 frames per second in game now in most spots. So that may work for you, it may not, but that's what I have this as. Now audio, uh, video memory uh, at auto the highest uh, value that you can do is 2048 2 megs, uh, but I decided to do auto in case should they patch the game or something like that and be able to take make more use of your available uh, RAM or video memory. So, um, all right, next quality objects, terrain, clouds, all very low, and here's why. Um, this enables you to see other players off in the distance. Uh, your system may be able to do more, maybe it'll do better, but if you want to be able to see other players, I recommend you do these at very low and shadows at disabled. It will increase your visibility. Uh, rendering. Anti-aliasing. I found that when I turned this up, I got a performance increase. So I would play around with this and see what's going to work best with your system. Alpha 2 coverage, uh, disabled that. Edge smoothing. Um, normal, I get good performance. Uh, if I go any higher, I start to see a, a small hit. Um, HDR quality. This is the dynamic range lighting, and which can really blind you in some spots. So I turned that up as low as I could possibly do it uh, to be able to, like, my whole thing is I want to be able to see another player so if you want to do that turn that down ambient occlusion and post process quality down as well post process quality I believe in Daisy makes the um, things off in the distance look blurry so that decreases your visibility bloom and rotation blur turn those all the way down and uh, I believe those settings will give you a overall uh, excellent experience in Daisy now, if, you know, of course, you can turn those settings up if you'd rather like the eye candy, enjoy the eye candy of the game. But uh, these have worked well for me. So I hope you enjoyed. If they helped you, please throw me a like and subscribe. My next video will be on uh, keyboard uh, assignments, what, what uh, I believe to be really good setup for the Daisy mouse and keyboard. So thanks a lot, and uh, check, check out my other videos.